Native brook trout are the gems of the Appalachian region. Although they rarely get over 12 inches, they have a cult following of anglers who spend hours pursuing them. Fishing for this Appalachian native is as much about the adventure as it is about the fish. Recently, I've set a goal of trying to find a 15-inch native brook trout, something almost unheard of in the Appalachians. Welcome back to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. You guys see that hole right there? I guarantee if I can get a fly in there, which I might just literally dap it in, I catch a fish. Let me reel some line up. Let's see if we can do this. I'm just gonna drop it in there. But gotta take a step closer. Okay, we're in there. Like swimwear. There it is. Uh, this is awkward now. I got lines stuck on limbs. Oh! I mean, I called the cast. We all knew it was going to happen. Uh-oh, he's stuck. It's actually not a horrible fish. Oh. Boat flip. Woo! Hey, that's a nice one, boys. <laughs> Just had to cast into freaking Narnia to catch him. Look at that fish. That's a nice fish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, check. Take a look at this. Take a look at this fish right here. Beautiful brook trout. And look at the colors on him. Is that not incredible? I mean, that is like the most beautiful fish on earth, and you can't change my mind. Go ahead and get this guy released and keep fishing. Jeez. Welcome back to another beautiful day and another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. So, today we're going to be fishing for brook trout. Now, yesterday I walked miles into the backcountry and I actually, I did decent. I caught two 11 inch fish. Here's the release of one right here. But basically I wasn't filming for either of the fish. So, I'm coming back today, not to the same spot, but I'm going back into the backcountry again today in a different section of, or a different creek. And hopefully I'm going to be able to catch a bunch of fish for you guys and actually string together a good video. Um, I recently caught one of the biggest native brook trout of my life at 13 inches and it kind of came unexpectedly, but it's kind of inspired me um, and renewed my faith and kind of looking for like a really mega giant brook trout. And by a mega giant brook trout for the Appalachian Mountains, that's right around 15 inches. So my goal is to at some point catch a 15 inch native brook trout and basically today I'm just looking for big fish, but Honestly, when you look for big fish, you catch a bunch of little fish along the way. So the plan is to just have fun today, relax. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to rain some this afternoon, so the fish should be biting. And apparently they are, because I've already caught a handful. You guys just saw me catch that gorgeous fish out of that log jam. So let's do it. I'm excited. I'm so excited for today. It's just a good, it's a good reset. It's a good mental reset to go back into the wilderness for a couple days and just relax and have fun. So yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, so if I don't catch a fish in here, then I should quit and go home. I'll be honest. Oop. Got bugs in my eyes. Oh, that was a fish. Ooh. <laughs> gee whiz, what a dry fly eat. Not a big fish, but geez. Just a ruthless eat. Look at that fella. Oh, see you, buddy. Thanks for playing. Got the nymph stuck on me, man. I don't love dry droppers for brook trout, but... Um, like I keep, they always get tangled, but man, they just work. They're so freaking effective. 
especially when I'm not really seeing fish on feeding on top. Kind of put a, I like putting a dry dropper on. So this is just a, this is just a size like 16 elk hair caddis. And then it's a dropper to a little, uh, it's essentially a hare's ear, but it's kind of like a, got some flash on it. It's pretty heavy nip, so it gets down pretty quickly in these fast, in this faster water. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm throwing today. Hopefully I'll be able to catch a few good fish for you guys. Like I've been doing and just haven't been recording for. Big hole here. I'm gonna start the back end of it there. Nothing. Slowly work up. Oh, there's a fish right there. Okay. Let's see if he eats again. There it is. I don't think that's the same fish, but it is a brook trout. That's even smaller than the other ones. There you go, he popped off. One of the perks of a barbless nymph. There's a lot of fish right there though. one was looking at it when I pulled it away. There it is. Another one. He ain't much bigger than the other one though. You're eating the nymphs. As I said, I like to put a dropper on when I don't see anything rising. Just because I feel like, um, I don't know, I'm not saying they won't eat a dry fly, but you just increase the amount of fish you catch dramatically. I'm gonna step up here a little bit further. See if there's a slightly bigger fish in there somewhere. Oh, that's a much bigger fish. I think he might have denied me though. I'll keep it on, I'll be honest with you. Might have been a denial. Oh. I can't believe nothing's eating that in there, dude. Jeez, look at that hole. There goes a fish that spooked. Oh, that's a big fish. Holy cow, guys. Huge brook trout. Huge brook trout. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked, dude. Come on. Holy cow. Come on. Please, 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 please. Stop it. Stop it. I'll do anything for you. I'll do anything for you. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Dude, I've just been catching dinks. Not cast into that back pocket and just put into I mean that's a 10, 11, 12 inch fish. Holy cow, dude. Ate the nymph. I sat into him and I swear I thought I swear on my life I thought he was I was stuck. And I saw the fish shaking his head. I'm about to pass out, boys. That is a big Brook trout, look at that thing. Good gracious. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this thing. This is an 11 pushing 12 inch native all day long. Look how big that thing is. And the colors on that fish are incredible, man. And you cannot tell me that that is not just like one of the most perfect fish on planet Earth right there. Beautiful, mature, native Appalachian brook trout. That is incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and get him released. And we'll keep going. Now I'm like super hyped up because I haven't been fishing that long and I've already caught an 11 plus inch native. So let's keep going. Guys, we got a hell of a hole here if I can get a good cast in there. A hell of a hole. Getting a good cast is not gonna be easy though, I will admit. Jeez! <laughs> Literally instantly. See if I can get another one in there. There it is. Oh wait, what? Oh, that was a fish. It was a dang stick on the bottom of the creek. That felt like more of a fish than the big one I just caught. If I can get one back in there further, I'll probably catch a fish, but that's it. 
Nope. No, dude, that was a nice fish, boys. No, how am I missing them? You sly dogs. There we go. It's not a bad fish at all. Not bad at all. It's got a little bit of orange to him for some reason too. Whoa, look at him go. Look at that one. Wow, that's a colorful fish. What the heck, dude? It's not fall yet. Relax. He looks like a pumpkin. He looks like a freaking pumpkin, boys. Look at that thing. Look how orange he is. I'm gonna get the camera for him. Look at that fish. Jeez. Look at the look at the orange colors on the relax. Look how orange that fish is. Why is that fish so orange? Look at the orange spot on his tail. Isn't that weird? That is just an incredible looking brook trout. Go ahead and get him released and then we'll keep on going. That was a fish bite, I believe. Let's go up a little higher. Dry fly eat. Oh, that was a decent fish. There was a fish in here. I figured that would happen. Oop. There we go. Nice fish. I saw that fish following the nymph down the creek, or I couldn't tell if it was denying the dry fly. That's probably a 10-inch fish. At least an eater. Come here, buddy. Oh, dude, let's go, man. Let's go. It's probably 10. Or close. Dang close to 10 if it's not. I saw that fish follow the thing, the, the nymph. I couldn't tell if it was looking at the nymph or the dry fly down the creek. That's a 10 inch fish all day long. All day long, dude. Look at that. Oop. Well, he's gone, maybe. Go ahead, buddy, you can leave. He's gone somewhere. He's gonna try to put him back in the net, but I'll take it. That was an awesome fish. All right, guys, so a little update for you guys. I just sat down, ate lunch. Um, so it's midday, and I've caught that one really big fish, like 11 plus inches. And then I caught another 10 and a couple good fish that were like 8 to 10-ish. So it's been pretty good so far. So I'm optimistic about the rest of the day. This particular stretch of creek, um, I don't think I've fished it before. I can't exactly remember how far up I've come from this access point, but um, I'm hoping to, you know, continue on this good luck for the rest of the day and hopefully catch a few more big fish for you guys. Oh no, that was the dry fly eater. Oh no! <laughs> God bless, dude. <laughs> Jesus, dude, there's something blooming in here and I'm just going crazy. Holy cow. Oops. Oh, golly, Ned. Sneezing like nobody's business. I'm gonna get cast above this stick. I'm gonna get stuck real quick. I can call it, you know? Fish did eat there. That's a good cast. Got him. Oh, that's a nice fish, too. Ooh, hey, buddy. How you doing? He is fighting like he owns the place. Come here. Oh, he's colorful, too. Come here. He ate the nymph and the dry fly. What a nice, beautiful brook trout. Wow. All right, guys, look at this little fish. Tell me this thing is just not an incredibly colored fish. Chill out, buddy. Relax. Look at the colors on that fish. That is unreal, man. Look at that. Go ahead and get this guy released. Chill out, buddy. I'm going to go ahead and get him released and then continue on. But what a fish, man. What a fish. All right, guys. So I think we finally reached the promised land. This hole right here is kind of what I've been looking for the whole time. So we're going to really take our time and pick this hole apart. 
see if we can't find something bigger in here. Immediately got hit. Notice how I'm casting the very back end of the hole first. Just to make sure that I'm hitting the fish before I would scoop them. Oh, I see a fish falling. There it is. I saw the fish come out for the net. It's a good fish right there. Little baby. I'm sure there's a 12er in here. Gotta be. Oh, that was a decent fish. Came up underneath the dry fly. Got him that time. Oh, buddy, how are you doing? See, you done got yourself wrapped up there, didn't you, fella? Well, maybe you just got me wrapped up. I don't know. fish out of the hole I think that's the biggest one yet but I don't know for sure dude this thing these fish need to learn that if they get hooked not to spin like a top because they keep getting themselves tangled which is not only annoying to me but I'm sure it's not fun for them either <laughs> like they do that stupid alligator roll there you go Another one just like the other couple. Hey, look at that. Pretty little guy. Thanks, buddy. Jeez, dude, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a really big fish. Come here, buddy. That's another 11-inch fish. Let's go. Let's go. That's a giant freaking brook trout. And as I hooked this one, I just saw a really big one up there out from this rock. Sip the dry fly. Look at the colors on that fish. Holy cow. Thanks, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is... One of my favorite brook trout I've caught in a very, very long time. He's probably 11. Look at the spot color pattern on him. Is that not just an unbelievable brook trout? He's every bit of 11 inches. Um, and that's just like perfection right there. Absolute perfection. Yeah, there. I mean, I'm just slaying right now, boys. It still hasn't rained. I just supposed, thought it was supposed to, but what do I know? Come here, buddy. Real light colored fish. Probably catch more out of here. If he chills out, relax. Not a bad one. He's probably six inches ish. Give or take. Thanks, buddy. Let's see if we can't get untangled from ourselves. And this branch behind us. Maybe take a step forward. And chuck another cast or two up in there. Probably some big freaking fish in there. Got to be. Yep, that's another one. Oh. It's a dry fly eater. Which means he's probably going to get a be a tangled mess here in a second. Or not. He was a relatively kind fish. No, oh, oh. Well, didn't get to show him off very well, did I? 
make sure a dry fly is floating here. Okay. Can we go three for three, you think? Okay. Hmm, no, I can't. Although I did have a hit, so it was pretty much my fault that I didn't go three for three. All right. Let's catch ourselves another fish. Got another one. <laughs> As soon as I get the freaking dry fly to float, we got one, didn't we? Can you not? Well, I just popped him off because he was wrapping my diggum dry fly around in circles. Let's see if we can get a fish to eat in there, dude. Got him. Not a bad one. Look how dark he is. Come back here, buddy. Ate the nymph. Come here. Perfect. Perfect. That's my biggest one out of here for sure. It's the biggest one I've caught in a minute, to be honest with you. An old nymph eater. That's probably a eight to nine inch fish. Boy, I need to work on showing these fish off. Holy cow. All right, guys. I'm coming at you from pretty much the middle of nowhere. I'm sit currently sitting in a cave, and it is like a downpour out there yonder. I'm literally using my phone light so I can see to shoot this outro. Uh, it's only like 5.15, so I've got time. But I'm just kind of waiting out the storm, and then I'm probably just going to leave. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I caught two really good brook trout today. They're both around 11 inches or so. I didn't actually measure them, but they weren't 12. They were just like solid, solid brook trout that anybody should be happy to catch. So I'm thrilled. I'll probably be back at this creek eventually. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I guess I'll catch you on the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures, assuming I make it out of here and I don't just get swept away in a flash flood because apparently that's like my MO right now is just get stuck in torrential downpours so thank you guys so much for watching